A Louisville woman is left rebuilding her life after a fire destroyed her house. A car crashed right into her home on Sunday in the Portland neighborhood, hitting the gas meter and causing an explosion, burning the house. WHS 1119's Alex Dieterer is following up, talking with the homeowner about how she's moving forward. I just lost my whole life. I just lost everything I know. It's all gone. Jeanette Mullins has lived in the Portland neighborhood her whole life. For the past two years, she's called this building on West Main Street near North 24th home, a home that was taken from her Sunday afternoon. I just want somewhere to call home again, and I don't have that. A car crashed into the two-story apartment building, hitting the gas line. Mullins was in her bedroom when she felt the house shake and saw flames through her window. When I came outside, I seen a black car that was right here up against the gas box, gas meter, and it was just engulfed in flames. Mullins said she and the neighbors started to hear popping and then the gas meter exploded. Everybody was just screaming. It was just chaos everywhere. The inside of the home is barely recognizable among the rubble. It's just all gone. All of it. Mullins was only able to salvage a few items of clothing, her son's newborn pictures, and her mother's funeral candle. When I have one pair of shoes, when I had like 30 pairs of shoes and eight coats, and now I don't have any of that. Nothing. Mullins says this is the second time a car has hit this apartment. She says this intersection has some blind spots that can make it dangerous for cars and oncoming traffic. It happens all the time. There's so many wrecks right here. So many. It took 25 firefighters to get the fire under control. Thankfully, no one was hurt. I'm just glad I'm alive. I'm blessed, I guess, in that category that I made it out safe and I'm alive and I'm here. Alive and rebuilding a home. In Louisville, Alex Dieterer, WHAS 11 night team on your side. Also new tonight, Mullen says she was told the house now has to be demolished, so there is a GoFundMe account set up for her. You can find a link to that on our website, whas11.com.